Okay, here's the last song. This is uh, Cannons, Phil Wickham. Great song and a little bit of a different strumming pattern. Um, Bill Hurth will work with you guys on that. For now, what I want to do is just show you this fifth chord that will be instrumental in a lot of the songs that we do as well. It is the two minor chord, and it shows up on the very, very, very beginning of Cannons. So the beginning of Cannons is just our Blessed Be Your Name chords, G2, C2, E minor 7, and then there's this new chord, A minor 7, okay? And all you're doing here, let me show you the, the fingering first. The first finger is on the first fret in uh, the first fret on the B string. Second finger is in the second fret on the D string. The third finger is on the third fret on the high E string. You can just strum uh, five of the strings. So starting from your A string down, and that's an A minor seven. Okay. The reason I'm showing it to you like this is because again, you could easily transition from here to here without ever having picked up this pinky finger. Now you will um, struggle a little bit maybe at first when you're trying to pick up the ring finger because that's just a weird feeling. And actually many of you may not struggle. This may be just very easy for you, which I'm glad it is. Um, so here's the intro, all down strokes. G, C2, E minor 7, to an A minor 7. So that is um, the the gist of that uh, song. There really isn't much else to it except the strumming pattern is, is a little bit trickier on the verse. Um, but on the courses, you're just going to drive with downstrokes. Uh, those are the chords. I hope you guys have a great uh, time with Bill. He's such a great uh facilitator and a great player and worship leader and I'm really really praying for each one of you that uh, you just grow in the confidence of your own gifts and your own talents and that you are able to lead worship in the way that I know it's in your hearts to do so love you guys and I'll talk to you soon